So I just bought a 670 Predator at Harbor Freight. I'm putting into a uh, 4x6 Gator. And I wanted to use the ignition on the Gator, not the one that comes on the motor. So I ripped it off. I looked all over YouTube. I tried to find somebody who understood what the wiring was. You can unplug them nice and easy. But I didn't find anything. But I figured it out. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. So this wire was right on the starter. That has 12 volts at all times. Okay. So that's your feed in. That's just to make this work. You don't have to worry about hooking. There's no wire on the other on the motor side for this. So you would just hook your battery wire right directly to the starter. And then when you turn the key switch on to start, it sends 12 volts to here, which is on the starter solenoid. So I use this, there's a starter solenoid circuit already on the gator, and I just wired that in. So it just sends 12 volts right to the starter, tells the starter to kick on, and it works. Now as far as these other three wires, the red wire wants to be, it's got, goes through the fuse, you got that little resettable breaker on this, so it's just a protected 10 amp breaker, so I'm going to use a 10 amp fuse, and it wants 12 volts at all times, okay, that's my continuity tester just showing you, other ends hooked at the power lead. Now the yellow wire, key switch is off. I have no continuity. As soon as I turn the key switch on, it wants 12 volts. So when the key's on, yellow wants 12 volts. And as far as the black and red goes, that's your kill switch, okay? With the key switch on, there's no continuity to ground. Key switch off. So you need to make that go to ground when you want it to shut off. Figured I'd give you guys a tip. Help somebody out. Have a good day.